Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great week. Uh, this week's video I oft is another uh, frequently asked questions video. Uh, and so this week's video is, you know, people always ask, what do I think autistic kids need? Uh, and it's really hard to answer this question broadly because every autistic child and human is unique. Um, but if we have to think in very general terms, uh, this video I'm going to give you a few things I think all autistic kids, and maybe all kids, uh, need. Uh, so the first thing that I think all autistic kids need uh, would be loving, caring, encouraging, and supportive parents who are willing to help their kids uh, learn to you know, do what they're good at and, and encourage them to do the things that they love and that bring them joy. Um, sometimes, you know, autistic people's passions, hobbies, and interests may be discouraged by their parents. Um, and it's kind of sad because, you know, an autistic interest is something that you know, we're so into because we love it so much. It's like, it doesn't matter if you love it, you can't love that thing. Um, you know, like, you know, if, if, you're, if your kid's really, really is passionate about art, um, don't discourage them from doing art. Encourage them to grow that because, you know, when we spend time doing things that we love and enjoy, uh, it's recovery time, it's recharge time from uh, our experiences in the world. Uh, another thing that, you know, I think would be helpful uh, for autistic kids is uh, for parents not to focus too much on the weaknesses um, because, trust me, um, your kid knows their weaknesses. Um, people will be pointing them out and they will notice when they fall short. Um, and when their peers are doing things easily and for, and for some reason, you know, something that's easy to their peers is difficult, very difficult or impossible for them, uh, they notice. You don't need to remind them. What you can do, you know, is help them grow, help them build strengths um, to compensate. Uh, but, you know, they don't need you pointing out all of their flaws constantly. Um, you know, another thing that I think would be very helpful for many autistic kids, maybe not all, but, um, is, you know, help with, you know, identifying emotions, especially young kids, um, and even some older kids, you know, like anxiety, um, and anger and these types of feelings, because sometimes, you know, you don't, understand uh, how feelings work and just so just having a really good understanding of even just when someone's old enough to understand like how emotions work in the body and what they are um, on a logical level uh, is really helpful. Uh, you know, like understanding what adrenaline is and why it makes you feel the way you do. It's an unpleasant feeling. You know, when you feel that in your body as a kid, you just feel that horrible feeling and you feel bad and you don't know why. Um, so uh, th those would be some things that I think would be helpful uh, for any uh, autistic kid uh, to have growing up. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you so much. If you liked me doing this uh, video, give me a thumbs up and I'll try to do more like this in the future. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because I do put out content very regularly, very, very, fairly regularly when my mouth works. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.